You know, I'm, I'm a bull rusher, man. I was known for power and running in there, hitting a guy and being able to at least jack you up or make you make you feel like, okay, I know at some point I can break you. With him, there was no breaking. He's so big. <laughs> Plain and simple, I've never seen a guy with a head as big as Jonathan Ogden's. I've never seen a helmet fit so tight on somebody's head. If you saw him on the street, you would say, that guy can't move fast enough to get in front of anybody. But when he puts on that uniform, it looks right on him. Jonathan Ogden was so natural, so fluid. He just made everything look easy. And if nothing worse is when you're working hard to get somebody and you're out there sweating and grunting and you're looking up at this guy and this guy's just sitting there with his head wedged in a football helmet, kind of just with a look of, well, gosh, is that the best you could do? So disheartening. <laughs> Extremely tenacious on the football field, just had that will that he was not gonna lose. And I'm not talking about guys that says, I'm not gonna lose and you lose every once in a while, but then you, you know, no, he's not gonna lose at all. He was great at run blocking, obviously, with his size. He can move anybody out the way. He can shield you. He can do all those things. But the tough thing is to be a pass blocker. Being a left offensive tackle, you're the guy that gets the best pass rusher for the most part. So for him to be able to handle a speed rusher at his size, then to be able to handle a power rusher at the same time, it's like, wow. You don't find a guy who can do you know, all three of those things and make them all look easy. When you know that you dominated someone, it's a great feeling, really. I mean, you just kind of fall right on them, and the air just rushes out their chest. Sometimes you can take a person out of a whole game. If you do it early, I mean, their mind is messed up for the whole game. That's why you just kind of laugh inside yourself. <laughs> you might make a comment to them, just to keep it light out there. I got him with a nice little rib shot. I got him with a nice little rib shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that old veteran move, Sat. That's that old veteran move. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. Jonathan Ogden, I'm bitter. You were too good. Made guys like me look bad. It's not fair. I'm blaming your mama and your daddy for the genes they gave you. Jonathan Ogden was blessed with so much talent, he won a shot put title at UCLA, making him eligible for the Olympic trials. I didn't know he was an Olympic caliber shot putter, but I have seen him shot put quite a few guys across the football field. <laughs> so I think that shot putting experience at UCLA did come in handy. You like that, huh? He's not a screamer, he's not a yeller, he's not a big talker, he's a laugher. <laughs> you see him, you think to yourself, this guy is not mean enough to handle the mean guys out there in the NFL. Jonathan would rip your limbs off and they would smile and wave your hand in front of you, wave your arm, hey, I got your arm, hey, come get it, come, you want it back? <laughs> A lot of times the coach will say, oh, you know, you need to do this, and you need to do that, and you need to change this. Against Jonathan Ogden, the coach basically would just say, just do your best, son, just do your best. When you play Jonathan Ogden, you pray that he didn't get embarrassed. 